Hello everyone. Welcome back to Paper Made Me Do It. I have an unboxing that should be a lot of fun. These always are. I believe this is from the stationery selection. It arrived earlier in the week via DHL. And, oh my goodness, it's two boxes. Okay, are these two months or what? <laughs> I'm trying to just talk through this informally and hopefully I can just upload without having to invest a lot of time in editing if the background noise is too um, annoying though I may have to do a voiceover I have a ceiling fan running in my office and normally not the case when I film but we have three different AC units in our house in different areas and the main unit on that runs the main part of the floor including where my office is conveniently stopped working today fun fun so it's not unbearably hot right now but I did have to turn my fan on to keep it comfortable in my office Okay, I'm going to flip these and see. Okay, so this is the August box and the September box. I didn't realize I was um, that behind. She may be shipping that way to everyone, so she's only having to send a, you know, a smaller number of packages with the shipping restrictions going on. So... I'll just put this to the side to see if I need it as a reference. Okay, clip bookmarkers. These are super cute. And I've seen these somewhere recently. Did the Hobonichi website have something either similar to this or these exact ones? I, that, I'm gonna have to look up and see. Cause I've just seen those recently. Okay, this is a pin, and I love pins, and this is the stationery selection, so this is her logo. Super cool. That will definitely go on one of my supply bags. Okay, Lipno. What in the world? <laughs> This is a sticky note like a lipstick. It can be refilled. I was thinking, did she send a lip balm? <laughs> Let's see. A roll of sticky notes built into a chapstick style case. With its sleek and slim design, you can easily pop it into your pencil case without adding much bulk. The width of the sticky note can be adjusted to fit your planning needs. How cute. Let's see. It definitely looks like chapstick. Okay, how in the world? Oh, and you just pull it. Okay, this is probably the worst demo. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see. That was just the little sealer thing. Okay, yeah. And it looks like they should just pull out. I guess this tape may be kind of holding down the end. Let's see. I may make a mess out of mine so y'all don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It is very secure on there. Okay. Goodness, is that the wrong? Okay. I don't know if this is supposed to come all the way off or not, but...
I'm about to pull it off. I don't know. Okay. So, yes, these are slightly tacky on the back. And just pull them. I can't tell if they're, looks like they're, okay, they're perforated. But I guess you could use multiple before tearing each little piece off. And then you just kind of roll it around. And then it definitely takes up very little room. So neat, neat. I have to play around with that. But this is what the sticky notes look like. They have um, little very faint light blue borders and it looks like graph in the middle. So let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, y'all can see that. And here we go. We'll definitely throw some of those down in a journal and see what kind of pins write over them. Now, she often includes different types of pin pouches, which I always appreciate. So seems like we've had a similar design to this before, but it's been a good long while. And I'm sure it wasn't this exact design, but I just remember this um, shape before. And then it kind of opens at an angle. Now this one is very nice because it's a nice sturdy canvas. I love my canvas bags and pouches. So I'm not familiar with this um, brand. It's H-I-N-E-M-O. Hinemo. Hinemo. But yeah, that's nice. And I like the neutral colors. And then a couple more items in the August box. Um, this is a Uniball 1, 0 0.5. Let's see, is this pen or pencil? It's a pen. Looks like a gel pen, 0 0.5. So let's see here. And it is black ink. So very nice. I like the little clip on there. It'll be good for notes on the go. And then what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Let's open it up and see. Kokyo. Is this one of the little things that's kind of like a correction tape, but it has a design tape that feeds through? I've had a product similar to that before. Oh. Let's see, no dot liner. Oh, it's a tape runner. Nice. And when you click the back, it kind of locks open like that. Oh, yes. Super nice. And I'm completely out of my um, tape runner adhesive. So this is perfect. Just to adhere little bits of ephemera into your journals. So super cool. Okay. And much needed. I love... I love the unique um, things that are included some months, but I always do appreciate the practical items like this that I know will not only get used, but get used up. So that is all for the August box. And another quick look at all of those goodies. That, this one was probably the most unique that really threw me for a loop, but um, we'll go right into September. I'll just set this to the side in case we need it. Let's see if we can figure things out. This is something cute that's wrapped in paper with a little staple at the top. Let's see. Oh, it's a stamp. I love the stamps. And this one looks very intricate. I don't know if you can see all the detail there. Okay, what are we looking at? It's like a little village. 
and the shapes of some of the buildings have that Japanese flair. Let's see. Hanko stamp. Stamp from the company Kyoto. Hanko means stamp in Japanese. Um, it makes the person who receives it smile. When a person's warmth is transmitted, the person's heart is moved. Okay. So a little very detailed stamp. And this looks like some washi. World Craft. Okay. Let's see what this design looks like. Okay, really cute. This definitely reminds me at a glance like of the Japanese culture. It looks kind of like the uh, stickers that were included in one of the last boxes that I opened. So this will add a lot of bright color to my pages. Neat, neat. And like a dark brown stamp pad. Shaki <laughs> Hada. Oh, I like the little case. It's a very nice case. It looks like a nice brown. With the stamp and we've got a couple pins I'll save them to the end this looks like a little ruler 15 centimeter um, living in the US I always um, use the standard and not the metric so the centimeter always throws me off so what I would probably do is just use this as a straight edge for drawing lines in some of my layouts, more so than actually taking measurements, but it's a nice size where you could toss it into a cover. And these are nice um, masking seals, so these are like little washi stickers. A good many let's see 32 so yeah eight per sheet they're all identical really nice designs nice and modern nice um, color palette as well and it's actually four designs and not eight because they're paired 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 and paired so these four designs that repeat those are really pretty though Okay, and daily note. So this is a note book. Let's see. It looks like there's a collection here with different numbers. I got number six, so I don't know. It's A5. I don't know if the number six um, has a significance or if other uh, subscribers to this box got different numbers but you can see my cover is bright white with the number six which looks like this one and then there are let me zoom me in just a second all of these other choices for the covers Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. Let me get this box out of the way. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up or not. I'm going to have to read about this in a second. Let me see. Okay. Can you see? It's very faint. Let's see. There's a six. There's a six. And the paper feels very thin. It may be Tomoe River. I'm not sure. This one looks on the back. You see the six? Six. It's like each page has a different, extremely faint rendition of the number six throughout the entire notebook. I hope the camera's picking that up for y'all because it is very faint. But it's like you can see the number six on every page. <laughs> this is so different. Hmm. And they're not repeating either. They're like different designs. Okay, now... Yeah, now it's it finally started to repeat after several pages. So, and it's like that through the whole notebook. Okay, and then at the end, there is a guide. So, because the paper is so thin and essentially blank, you can just fold the guide over and use it as a writing guide. So that's nice, and it shows how thin each individual page is. So, very unique. Let's uh, get the little description and find out more about this. Let's see. Printing. Printing notebook, Pale Veil, Poly Veil, A5 notebook, 30 GSM paper, another company that we discovered during, oh, I wish I could pronounce some of these words, late last year. I was amazed by the thin, light paper. This printing company uses the technology that allows beautifully Printing on thin paper. It is produced using the natural spring water from Mount Fuji. Very cool. It is a daily use notebook that has 96 sheets and a 10 millimeter grid underlay. I've been using mine. Of course, this is Mitt's writing. I've been using mine these past several months to swatch paints, to write down quotes, and just put my thoughts down on paper. So, it doesn't necessarily say unless I missed it other than 30 GSM paper it doesn't say so it may not be in fact Tomoe River paper it's even thinner at 30 GSM but it doesn't say anything about the significance of the number so that's <laughs> one part that I find um, <laughs> very unique so, I'll be anxious to see some other unboxings and see, did everyone get a six or does everyone get different numbers? <laughs> it's kind of neat. Okay, so, the only thing that we haven't looked at from September are these pins. So, this is a uni pin, P-I-N, for pro waterproof and fade-proof pigment ink. Yes. So, this is archival. Zero two. So this is an archival fine liner. Yay. So this is an archival fine liner. And zero two is quite fine. So this will definitely be used a lot by me. And then this is a uni ball. Does that say five as well? What is this? It looks like another gel. What? I, sometimes I get mixed up between gel and rollerball. Like, 
these two tips. They look very similar, but I don't know if they're the same or not. Let's see how they write. I'm gonna go to the very end of this super thin paper notebook. This was the uni ball one. It's nice. It, it just feels like um, it does feel like a gel pen. It reminds me of the Ink Joy gel. So it's a smooth writer. And let's see. This is the one I wasn't sure about. If it's something different or not. I think it also has a number five. And it says black. I don't know. It feels a little different. Black. Hmm. They both write nicely. This one feels a little more... I don't... I can't, I can't even describe it. Let's see. It's just water-based ballpoint pen. Hmm. Okay. I like them both. And then this is gonna be the archival, like the fine liner uni pen. Mm, it writes nicely to you. And it's a number 02. Black. Waterproof, fade proof. So, really like this. Um, might as well go ahead and stamp the stamp while we're here. Nice. This is going to be so I may have moved that. So if this one doesn't come out clear, I think that's user error, but I may have just smeared a little on the corner. And give it one more go. And those details just pop. And the ink is not as dark as I expected. It's actually a really pretty, almost kind of a golden brown. But this feels more like you're stamping onto fabric instead of um, the texture of some stamp pads where it's not, it doesn't feel spongy at all. So off to the side and then remove this guide here. So you can 
see with the guide removed, the paper looks blank. And let's check out the back of it. That is amazing, as thin as this is. I mean, obviously it's going to shadow, but there's no bleed through. Just, I mean, massive shadowing because it's so thin, but there's no bleed. That's amazing. Um, I have pens like this, uh, like the gel pen that bleed through on my Stology paper. And this is, I believe, much thinner than that. So really cool, really cool. And then let's lay down some of this washi while we're at it. Just have a little demo page here. Feels good to be using up some paper. It's been a while since I've been in here to just play. So there's a sample of that washi. And the pins, that intricate stamp. Okay, and so the little ruler and the washi stickers. That wraps up the September box. If y'all have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you and I guess I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. Thank y'all for joining me. See you soon. Bye-bye.